I grew up in China and never learned to drive. The U.S. Either my husband, mother-in-law, or good friends drove me to all my concerts everywhere.
help drive on my own. In the parking lot of large retail stores. I'm ready to take my driving test.
it was for erratic driving. <laughs> my car to the side of the road and then quickly tried to open my car door while the car was walking towards to me. He shot at me, do not move! <laughs> Put your hands on the steering wheel! But then I couldn't find my driver's license, my insurance card, or anywhere to speak. Drive straight home! <laughs> so, I did! <laughs> he gave me no tickets. <laughs> so, after I needed to perform at the University of Minnesota with the Carlton Chinese Music Ensemble. Said, your husband. 
husband should have known. Don't you think? <laughs> Again, no ticket. Wow, many surprises. But I'm not sure my husband does.
police officer rolled up next to me. Where are you trying to go? He asks. My dentist. Am I in trouble? No, he says. He points to the building to my right. You are there. <laughs> After the dentist, I was really hungry, so I went to the local drive-through window. I asked for number A meal with mildew. The employee held back a lot before asking me if I could repeat my order. I repeated the order, being careful to enunciate clearly. A number eight was never please stop from me, followed by seemingly sincere assurance that none of their food has mildew. Can I get a number eight meal, please? Absolutely. What would you like to drink with that? Now the please. <laughs> oh, no, no, this time. I could hear it through the speakers and the glass window up ahead. I realized my mistake. I meant Mountain Dew. <laughs> it was still giggling as I drove away with my food. On a cold winter night, after one of my solo concerts, I needed to drive from St. Edith's College to St. John's. It was just three miles through some residential and business areas. In the dark,